I'm Sean Burns, and this is the Voice of Uyghur, come from Washington, D.C. Four Western countries have condemned China after the rape report from the westernmost region of China. Since then, Muslim countries have kept silent. The U.S. government said it is deeply disturbed by a BBC report detailing allegations of systematic rape of Uyghur women in Chinese camps. A U.K. government minister, Nigel Adams, said in Parliament on Thursday that the report showed clearly evil facts. In an urgent question to the U.K. Parliament on Friday, Parliament member Nas Ghani said these horrifying stories add up to be a huge and growing body of evidence detailing atrocities perpetrated by the Chinese authority. Atrocities which may even be genocidal. Australian's Foreign Affairs Minister, Maurice Payne, also commented on the report, saying the United Nations should be given immediate access to the region. We consider transparency to be of the utmost importance and continue to urge China to allow international observers, including the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, Michelle Bachelet, to be given immediate, meaningful, and unfettered access to the region at the earliest opportunity. New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern has condemned reports of systematic rape in China's secretive Uyghur camps, describing it as an issue of grave concern for New Zealand. Prisoners and guards claim they experience or witness an organized system of mass rape, torture, and sexual abuse of detained Uyghur women in the country's northwest province. The BBC reported, according to the estimates, at least three million people currently detained in Chinese Communist Party's brutal concentration camps a legacy of Chairman Xi Jinping, who wanted to eradicate the ethnic and religious identity of Uyghurs to maintain so-called social stability and national security. China's foreign ministry has denied the allegations, accusing the BBC of making a false report. So far, no Muslim nation, including Turkey, has condemned China for its brutal treatment of its fellow Muslims. Hi, this is Sean Burns from Voice of Uyghur. If you'd like to understand more about the Uyghur genocide, international response, and Uyghur movements all over the world, Please follow our social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel.